The best accounts to invest in are generally those with the lowest fees and taxes, uh, those, since those are investors' greatest enemies. A typical doctor may have access to some or all of the following tax-protected accounts. For retirement, 401ks, 403bs, 457bs, 401as, profit-sharing plans, defined benefit or cash balance plans. For those who are self-employed, individual 401ks, SEP IRAs, simple IRAs, or traditional IRAs. Uh, of course, there are also Roth accounts, Roth 401ks, 403bs, 457bs, and IRAs. And you can always invest as much as you want in a taxable or non-qualified account. For education, there are 529s accounts, uh, Coverdell education savings accounts, and of course, a taxable account. For healthcare, there are health savings accounts and taxable accounts. And then, of course, for general investing, your only option is a taxable investing account. An employee ought to become an expert in the accounts his or her employer offers. The self-employed physician would generally want to use an individual 401k. And most doctors, at least while Congress allows it, will want to use a backdoor Roth IRA. Those who are using a high-deductible health plan should take advantage of a health savings account, essentially a triple tax-free stealth IRA. 529s are also generally superior to an education savings account due to their higher contribution limits and potential state tax breaks. If you've maxed out your available accounts and wish to invest more, you can invest an unlimited amount in a taxable account at any time, which despite its name generally offers superior risk return characteristics to many financial products such as cash value, life insurance, and annuities. My dad, your host, Dr. Dahl, is a practicing emergency physician, blogger, author, and podcaster. He is not a licensed accountant, attorney, or financial advisor, so this podcast is for your entertainment and information only and should not be considered official, personalized financial advice.